the Dickinson Police Department is taking flight to better serve the citizens of the Queen City. So our department's been investigating the possibility about adding a drone uh, to our capabilities for, for some time now. The drone is a DJI Mavic 2, and this little guy has a 360-degree camera, lights, and a PA system. It even has infrared capabilities. Uh, to find a missing child or, or an elderly person uh, very rapidly that way. The lieutenant says he likes that the drone gives first responders one more resource. It came in handy this past Tuesday in assisting the fire department with a lily pad apartment. Department fire. We put the drone up just to assist the fire department in locating any secondary hot spots that might have come up uh, either through the roof line or uh, any other type of area on the structure that, that would have had a hot spot on it. The drone weighs about two pounds and can hold up well in North Dakota weather, but it does have some limitations. It can't fly when the wind speed is more than 20 miles an hour. To make sure that the weather is uh, decent enough, you know, three miles visibility. Um, clear clouds, uh, that sort of thing. But Some citizens may be concerned that the police department's use of drone technology will infringe upon their privacy rights. But the police department says that people don't need to be concerned about that. Not only has the state legislature in, re in recent sessions uh, passed uh, really stringent uh, parameters for law enforcement use of drones, but we also have it in our policies. The police department has been using the drone for about a month, and right now only three officers are certified to use it. But the plan going forward is to also get firefighters trained. If there's a uh, you know law enforcement situation such as a SWAT situation, we'd have our firefighters fly the drone, uh, and then whereas uh, you know if, the, if there's a fire situation like we had the other day, uh, law enforcement will be the uh, drone operators in those. Steve Kirch, KX News.